guys, I'm Chewy Mew, but my real name is Eric, and welcome to another Chewy Mew review. For today, we're taking a look at another pretty awesome figure, and that is the Spider-Man Classics Series 2 Battle Ravaged Spider-Man. I actually have the comic book still in the packaging, so the comic's still in the packaging. It's uh, Spider-Man, the Ark Knight, Dark Knight Triumphant, Torment Part 5 of 5. The only thing I'm going to leave it in the package. Set that aside, and then here down below you see the we see good old Toy Biz down here. When we used to look this up, it was Toy Biz. Now it's I don't even think that's a thing you can look up anymore. And next we've got Spider Man. This is definitely, in my opinion, one of the best Spider Man figures, just because it's battle ravaged. We haven't got like a modern battle ravaged one. There was one in the '90s, but it was basically just. It basically kind of looked like a ninja with the face mask ripped, but this, this is awesome. Let's take him off, set him aside, and let's look at this base. Even this base is awesome. This base, I'm going to move my light so it can, you can see it better. Is that better? I think that looks better, and the frame rate even looks better too. So it's Lizard, which it actually looks a lot like the... Uh, like the uh, Spider-Man Classics Lizard. I feel like they used kind of that mold on this. If we, if we bring them in here. These two look kind of similar. The head, the head's bigger on this one. The sculpting is slightly different. But I feel like they kind of used some inspiration from this guy. Or I guess inspiration from this guy to make this one. Or this one to make this one. I don't know. Let's put them aside too. But this looks awesome. It has a peg hole. It has three peg holes. One here, one here, and one over here. So you can peg Spider-Man on it. Lizard has a chain wrapped around his neck, and it's all textured. This is really good feeling. Marvel 2001. Didn't say Toy Biz on it yet, but it's made in China because everything's made in China. It has a peg where you can put a nail or a thumbtack to like mount it on the wall. Or what I'm doing currently, I just have it displayed like, like as you saw, it displayed like that with Spider-Man. Like he's still pounding the lizard. <laughs> it, lizard has another chain wrapped around his waist and a web web right there. I'm sorry, it's so dark. I can't. I don't know how to get the lighting to look properly at this. Got some claws up there. But really awesome display base like this. It's awesome and it's just a display base. I'm going to set that. I'm actually going to put that over here for now. And now let's take a look at good old Battle Ravaged Spider-Man. This figure is awesome. What, what, and what I feel like makes this so good is that... Uh, it's all textured, like it's not just paint, it's actually, they actually sculpted these on. Let's take a look at the face. There's the face of Battle Ravage Spider-Man, he has like a, like an angry kind of looking mouth. The nose mask is all ripped, there's a part of the white, like it's melting almost. There's some more there on the face sticking off. On the back of the head, you can actually see his hair. If the lighting would work with me... I'm just actually going to move the camera here. You can see more of the, the like, his hair sticking out there and up here, too. Very awesome looking. The spider logo is still intact, and the suit even looks dirty. Like, there's some spots around here where it looks, like, kind of, like, blackish, like, dirtyish. There's some more up there. Kind of like fire or something. Like, Green Goblin burned his suit or something. His shoulder is missing, and it's all textured. Like, it's not just painted, and that looks awesome. His skin even looks darker, like that shoulder compared to his face, it looks darker because like burning or something. The There's like some look some paint errors there, which, eh, who cares? There's like a little hole looking thing right there, but that's not a hole. It's like the shoulder, like the shoulder fabric hanging over on his web shooter, on his hands. His thumb looks kind of black, like his hand looks like dirty, like I guess like a fire, or like goblin bomb or something. His pinky right there is exposed. Rotate his hand the other way. You can see like more burning looking on the glove. His his also his index finger sticking out too. On the other hand, they don't even make it the same on both hands, which I love that. Like there's more like burning looking marks here. The web shooter is like burning around it more on the fingers. On the other side of the hand, he's got a rip on the glove, whereas this one, he doesn't. Which I really love how they don't even just mirror the hands. Like they both hands have unique uh, like damage on them. There's another cut there on the webs. On the elbow, more dirtiness. Straighten out the hands. Um, on the torso, like I said, there's like a... Looks like burning and stuff. On the back, 
The spider logo is still intact, so at least he doesn't have to fix that. There's some more, like, burning looking on the top. The belt, like, it looks like the belt thing that he has going across the waist. On the back, it looks like it's just black. There's also, you can see glue dots sticking out right there. There's little glue dots sticking out right there because the legs were so loose, like, I would shake it and the legs would just wiggle around like wind chimes. But, but I had to put some glue dots to keep them. Sometimes when I move them up, they go back down, but they're not doing it this time, which is really nice. A huge cut on both thighs. That's a, both look big. And there's like a fabric and everything sticking out of the costume. On both sides, if you can hear my mom talking to my dogs, uh, sorry. <laughs> the boots don't really have much damage to it. I don't, oh yeah, there's actually like another cut, like a slash on the boot. And his skin color looks different too. Like, I like that too, because his skin wouldn't be clean. Like, if he's fighting and there's, like, his suit gets damaged, I don't imagine his his skin would be clean. Like, his face is a lot lighter colored compared to that, which, attention to detail. Toy Biz was awesome. Like, Toy Biz was on another level, guys, but this figure is awesome looking. Oh, actually, there is another Battle Ravage Spider-Man figure. We actually got also the movie spider-man battle ravaged suit which this one has so much more damage and you see so much more of his face but and this one like if you compare these two this one's more comic booky this one's more like toby Maguire looking and this one has a lot more damage on it but the thing is the discoloration of the suit is it's like regular colored still i love both of these if i had to pick a favorite uh i couldn't i couldn't pick a favorite because these both are awesome and let's look at this guy some more. So his articulation, he has a ball-jointed head, which is pretty good. A lot of range of motion there. The neck actually, he actually moves from the neck. And then if you hold the neck, the head kind of rotates a little bit. He has a ball joint in the torso, which a lot of range of motion there. You can have him hunched over a pretty good amount. You can go, when you push it back, it kind of just stays in place. Doesn't really move too much. You can have him tilt to both sides. The arms rotate all the way around. They bend at the shoulder, and actually, even though the shoulder here is all messed up with, like, the, the plastic part sticking up, which is on purpose, it the arm doesn't, the arm still moves up the same height as the other one, which that's still awesome, it didn't affect the articulation. Double bend in the elbow, which, as you can see here, you don't see any of the pegs, unlike this guy, where you do see the pegs, and this looks so much cooler how you don't see the these pegs sticking out, but the reason they had to switch to that other style is because... Apparently, like, the the arms would break really easy. Like, sometimes when you twist the hand, like, this guy has kind of loose hands, so that's fine. Like, sometimes when you twist the hands, this part, this whole joint would twist, and sometimes it would break off. And that's why they changed that. But also, the start of his glove, it wrote, the hand rotates all the way around. Very good hinge in the wrist. They can put it, like, 90 degrees both up and down. He has really long, skinny fingers, and you can put the web shooting hand down. The, the fingers, however, don't bend the other direction, really, because... I mean, why? <laughs> why would you do that? The other hand has the same articulation. His waist rotates all the way around. Mine is really tight because the the waist was so loose that I had to put some glue dots, and now it's kind of tight. But, you know, it's better than loose. The legs kick up all the way, about 90 degrees. They go out, and Spider-Man, of course, can do the splits. Because, yeah, this guy's more athletic than a gymnast. <laughs> The legs spin all the way around, which these leg joints here were, like, pretty much everything, like, in that area was loose. So I had to tighten that up because, like, I would shake the figure, and he would move like this. Like, his joints were, like, this loose. And this is also my favorite Spider-Man figure because it was my first. I love this guy. Even though it's you know, extremely worn out, it's worn out because all the playing with it. Double bend in the knee. Rotation at the boot. Or is there... I think there's rotation in the boot. That's really tight. I'm kind of afraid of breaking it, so I don't even think I noticed that before. The foot bends like 90 degrees for the ankle. The ankle pivot. And the toe bends up. It doesn't bend down too much. Also, on the bottom of his foot, it says 2001 Marvel Entertainment made in China. Because everything's made in China. But just this detail, this base is so crazy detailed, and so is this figure. This figure's awesome. <laughs> Let me know what you think about this guy, and I will see you in the next review. Wow.